Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Ophelia. I do beauty, fashion, lifestyle and vlogs. So if you don't want to miss that, just subscribe. For today's video, I'm going to show you my eyeshadow collections. Like I said in my previous video, I'm going to do a makeup collection series. I just separated everything in, into sections and I'm going to show you section by section of my makeup. <laughs> On my latest video I did my foundation collection and today I'm going to do my eye. <laughs> what was that? I don't know, I'm going to do eyeshadows and without any further ado, let's get into the video. The first one I'm going to show you is my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in the shade Warm Neutrals. Mm -mm. I think this is a, I, th <laughs> I think this is a very known eyeshadow palette and you probably already seen it somewhere here on YouTube I know I did I will try not to ramble today because I do have a lot of things to show you um, okay so my next one and it this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever 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 this is the Revolution Reloaded Neutrals 2 I use this a lot it's like it's super pretty it's super pigmented and as you can see, the eyeshadow pens, pen, pens, they are huge. And I mean, it was less than 5 euros, which is insane. And this is such good quality. If you are looking for a warm pink eyeshadow palette, I definitely recommend you this one. This is amazing. No words. Okay, next I have the Shimmer Cubes from the Body Shop. I don't think this counts as a nice shadow palette, but it's still not single shadows, kind of. But since they come together, I decided to, you know, show you as a palette. Okay, so as you can see, it, it has an um, orangey golden shade, it has a pink shade, a brown shade, and a brownish, but slightly grey shade. Then I have the only eye and makeup product I own and I've ever owned, which is the Naked 2 palette from the Urban Decay. My dad gave me this for Christmas and I still can't believe it lost his mind because these are expensive. Um, but the shadows are so beautiful, they are so pigmented and just you're paying for quality and this is this is a palette that I'm going to just use and keep using for the rest of my life until it runs out you can do a natural look but you can also do a glam look and I love this so much okay moving on to random shadows I have the H&M eye color to go in the shade treasure hunt uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's green and it has gold sparkles in it. And I also got the H&M eye color to go in the shade Fairy Tale, which is a nude pink shade with silvery champagne glitter. Beautiful. I like to put this on my inner corner, all over my eyelid, but then I set it with something. It's beautiful. I really, really like this. Then I have the H&M... Mm, this is a weird word. Scintillate, scintillating. I don't know how to pronounce that because I don't think I've ever heard it. My camera doesn't want to focus, but this is just golden glitter. Super cute, I love this, I use this a lot. Next I have the PS Liquid Foil Metallic Eyeshadow. This is from Primark. Primark? Primark. Then I have the Essence Metal Chalk Eyeshadow in the shade Galaxy Rocks. Um, honestly, I don't know why I own this. This is a dark silver glittery shade. I don't know exactly what type of look I can do with this. It has to be a dark look, but I'm for sure going to use this. Then I have the Flormar Longwear Gel Shadow. I really like this packaging, super cute. And again, it's very similar to the previous eyeshadow that I showed you, um, but this one is less glittery and just more like a base. Then I have the Wycan Cosmetics Soft Mousse 
eyeshadow in the shade 16. I really like this shade. This is just a beautiful copper eyeshadow. This is perfect for autumn. I love copper eyeshadows in autumn, winter even. Also, once it dries, it dries. You cannot move it. It stays all day. If you don't remove it, probably it will stay until the other day. Once I apply it on my lid, I make sure I blend it as quick as I can because otherwise it's just going to look very odd. Moving on to single shadows. I have a couple from Kiko that I'm going to show you. Okay, so I have the Kiko Smart Shadow in the shade. N shade numbers just don't stay on here. But this is the one I'm er wearing right now. This is a light coppery nude type of shade. Maybe even a very light brown type of shade. Actually, I don't know how to describe this. It's a very weird shade, but still so beautiful. I love it. Then I have the Kiko Milano Smart Eyeshadow in the shade. Once again, I cannot tell which shade it is because it's basically gone. This is just a purple li lilac maybe type of shade with a little bit of shimmer. Mm -mm. I have to say this one compared to this one, this is way more shocky but I think maybe it's because it's more of a pastel-y type of shade so it's harder to make a creamier formula I guess. This one just lights and I love it but this one it's a little bit harder to work with but still so beautiful and I really like this next we have my high pigment wet and dry eyeshadow in the shade 9 I use this a lot if you've been watching my videos you already know this I use this especially as an eyeliner because I think it's super natural but I just really like to have some type of wing even if it's just the tiniest little bit, I just think it's so flattering. So the last shadow I have from Kiku is this long-lasting wet dry use eyeshadow. I'm not sure the name of it. In the shade 208. I saw this on Jordan Lipscomb videos, maybe last year for sure last year and I just needed to get this it's super beautiful if you're tan you can even use this as an highlighter it just it's so good it's so creamy it's so pigmented and it's just one of the best formulas I've ever tried in an eyeshadow it doesn't have fall off or anything it's just a very creamy pigmented beautiful shimmery glowy eyeshadow and as you can tell i really really like this moving on to more shadows that i don't know why i own them is this h&m moss it over eye impact eye color once again it's a green with golden shimmer i remember i got this for like one euro because they do a lot of random makeup sales and that's why I got actually everything I got from H&M H &M, H &M Beauty I got them in sale and the last item of this haul not haul, this isn't a haul of this video is this Flormar Black Shadow it doesn't have a name so I assume it's called Black Shadow I don't know why but it just broke and it went everywhere and I'm telling you everywhere everywhere so I just used a tiny little bit of alcohol just pressed it with a little bit of toilet paper and let it dry and this way it just stays there this is a very good black shadow I think a black shadow it's just an essential basically I just use this eyeshadow to line my eyes it's I think it's way softer than using a liquid liner so I've been gravitating towards this rather than my liquid liner but it's still uh, essential you can use this to deepen 
any type of makeup look okay so i actually don't have anything else to show you and i think i didn't ramble a lot so i'm quite proud of myself and my fiance is coming okay i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to hit the thumbs up and yeah see you on my next one bye